Well, you've been talking about them and they've been playing hide and seek as we search for them. But our Report It and our WTHI Facebook page has been full of white-tailed squirrel photos from you all. Now, Storm Team 10's Joseph Dames asked for your help and it took some time, but we found one and we have the information on the whimsical white-tailed squirrel. Well, color me white. There are white-tailed squirrels in the Wabash Valley. And we finally found one to go along with all the spottings in town. Well, here's the white-tailed squirrel that we found. Let's just call him Joe. And he kind of blended into the sidewalk, as you can see him right here strolling through. And then he takes off. And we had a hard time finding Joe again. But you all seem to do a little better. Here are some of the photos that you sent in from squirreling around in your backyard, foraging for food, or just climbing up trees, flashing that white wooly tail. So we're not nutty, they do exist. They are fox squirrels that have an albinistic uh, characteristic. They pop up and then they disappear. Uh, with that white tail, it's kind of like a flag saying, here I am, come eat me. So they don't, they don't last very long, usually. But experts say they got their good looks from their mother. Their white tail comes from the mother's genes and uh, she passes them down to the, the young. They aren't flying squirrels, but they sure are flying into our radar with those white tails. In Terre Haute, chasing white tailed squirrels with photojournalist John Tim. I'm Joseph Dames for Storm Team 10. Nature specialists say they come in waves and that we've actually had them around the Wabash Valley on and off for at least 10 years.